Oh, edged and hasn't been, has been, has been collected on the juggle. Well, Overton down and Sibley was there and Dixon is gone and Clark's in the book, but boy, that could have gone anywhere. A deflection off the chest, reflexes. Leg side-ish this time. Might have come off the pad, although it has run away. Yeah, off the bat. Pushed again, but timed perfectly this time. And that will run away for four. Easy as you like. Shot, well placed. And sneaks it through for four. That's the shorter side of the ground out to the Galadari stand and Lamanby through the line. Again, does it so easily on the front foot, Lamanby. That is class. The same gap located. Bit short and it will be put away. Lamanby got a good look at that. Didn't need to overhit it. One man to beat. Did so easily. He's 34, three boundaries in the last two overs for him. Chance to drive again, makes the most of it. Down the ground, four more, and that completes a very classy half century. Lamanby took half an hour to get off the mark. Trying to get Lamanby to play that drive. Two leg side this time, and Lamanby jumps all over that. Rolls the wrist nicely on a sweep shot behind square. Easy pickings, really, for a player in form. Again, air behind the delivery, but it's floated outside the eye line, and Matt Renshaw has climbed into that. More runs beautifully played by Matthew Renshaw. Gordon Clark over pitch and couldn't get down quick enough by the bootlaces and that runs away for four more. There's been a lot of runs down. DB on your way. Shortish for again. Tom Lavenby has been lethal to anything wide. He's gone long. Effortlessly done and into the bleachers. And that brings up his 50 from 83 deliveries. It's been a real masterclass here. Shortish to the final delivery of the morning session and punched happily, serenely enough up to long on. A bit of a loosener by the great West Indian. And Lambi away again, moves on to 71. Four more, beautifully played by Matthew Renshaw, who's lent into a longish half volley. It's been the story of Surrey's pace attack up until now. And these two classy south balls. Oh, inside edge just past leg stump. First sign of a little bit of indecision from the Australian, but such is the way of it at the moment for Surrey. Short and wide though and punished. Three falls in the over, two of them convincingly, and that's the second crash through the offside. Foolish. And that will probably beat the man, indeed it will. It was there to hit, he's driven it through the onside with a straightish bat. It's a sign of a player in really good nick now. Beautifully played though. Sign of how good and true this track is. Easily tucked into the onside. And there it is. What a knock by Tom Lamanby. He's been utterly unflustered. Oh, that's got to be close. He's got it yet. Got to go. Jordan Clark knew. He just carried on through. And after making an even hundred, Tom Lamaby has played all around a straight one round the wicket. Oh, yeah. He's taken that one. Thank you very much. Gus Atkinson is on the score sheet. Got him. Beautifully bowled. Lewis Goldsworthy has to walk. That is a jaffer by the leg spinner. Oh, and he's edged that all right. James Rue goes, beaten. The previous two deliveries that he goes after one outside the off stump. Oh, he's got another. First ball, Atkinson's on a hat trick. Casey Aldridge has come and gone.
It's a sixth wicket in this session. The collapse now is six for 15. Oh, he's bowled him. It's another one for Steele. Surrey are on a roll here. And it's Craig Overton. So that is the last ball before T. It has quite definitely been Surrey's session. Somerset were 196 for one at the end of the 45th over in the next 19 overs. The nought became a one on my screen. Come on. Oh, shout gone. Yep. Another one. Steel either side of T posing huge problems for Somerset with his wrist spin. We saw the wrong and earlier in the over. What do you want to know? Oh, slapping and just getting it straight to the man at mid-off. It wasn't in complete control, Gregory, but you can see that now we've reached that point where he's going to have to go. Another one. Out again towards that short boundary. That's gone much further. Great contact off the bat. Maybe 20 rows back. And you knew full well, Daniel, that's what, what was going to follow. And then, who knows, this could be a, this could be three here if they run it. Or, now, so are we going to let that ball go over the boundary? They do. Just, just shepherded by Atkinson over the rope. Oh, I say. <laughs> that's another one that's been deposited into the crowd. Gregory moves to the threshold of a half century. His average against Surrey is... The easy single, and that's 50 for Lewis Gregory. It's been a fine knock from him. Take nothing away from Lewis Gregory. He has been dropped. And Jamie Smith out at deep mid-wicket, but amidst all of that. Oh, that's it. That finishes it. Another catch for Jamie Overton in the slips. Another wicket for Cameron Steele. What a start to the season he's having. Behind closed door setting. Played again, Burns, really good. Straight away through mid-wicket, he's very likes it most. And Gregory feeding him there on that line. Good comparison. Again, Sibley, happy to take on any opportunity at the moment. Batting with some real oh, vigour. It's a great shot. Yeah, really is from Sibley. Again, wanting to put pressure on the fielding team. Another great shot from Zibley. That is a beauty, isn't it? Through extra cover all the way for four. It's not a shot that people... It's a beautiful shot from Sibley. Timing and placement. It was a little short, yes. Easily defended by Rory Burns. He and Dominic Sibley can go back to the safe harbour of the dressing room. A shake of the hand from Sibley.